the other thing that I really wanted to talk about, and you suggested we talk about this too, is fake news. Because we wrote about this in the book. I, it was a fun chapter to write because I had to look at all the fake news and read some of it. Um, but it's one of those subjects that really isn't going to go away, I think. We've seen all sorts of stuff. Um, but in the last couple of months, we've seen the fake news on coronavirus and 5G, which I remember seeing as far back as like January this year as a joke. Like it was a meme. It was kind of a silly internet joke that has now turned into actual mass being lit on fire, like violence, people <laughs> doing all sorts of stuff. So it's funny to see where this comes from, but it's a hugely serious issue um, because we talked about how to combat it. But how do you deal with fake news in your business or how do you coach leaders on how to manage information? Well, I mean, you it's 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 all around us, isn't yeah. it? I mean, and there's, and there's, there's things I know in, in, in our chapter, we talk about, you know, the notion of, and we, we include the crap test, you yes. know, where you've got to look at how you actually validate information. So we, you know, we provide that practical framework for, for really sense checking things, but it's, it's difficult because it's difficult. It, it's becoming sophisticated, isn't it? You know, and, right. and, and there's almost you think about the news sources that you've got and sometimes the news sources are they're manufactured as well so you think oh this is coming out of bloomberg this must be real yeah. you know this has just been said so so you have to be i i think you have to be a little bit cynical and um and and i don't want to say mistrust everything but you kind of have to really question it and be but yeah and absolutely think about where the source is coming from why someone is posting this or wants you to believe this kind of who it's coming from who benefits from this who benefits from you believing this and the other thing i think is just ask your friends and colleagues and stuff is talk about stuff because i think it's easy for some people to get stuck in a little virtual world of seeing something over and over and over again in this kind of strange corner of the internet or you know this mongolian fly fishing forum that's posting 5g rumors and then it turns out to be everywhere after a while so to have conversations with people who know what they're talking about for one thing. absolutely absolutely and sometimes things you know start off as fake news and then it's validated you, yeah. you, you know so so we always used to talk about twitter you know oh if it breaks news breaks on twitter and if it you know there's there's um things will think no smoke without fire you know mm -hmm. kind of kind of ideal idea but but you do have to be cautious you absolutely do have to be cautious so yeah so we you look at where the valid who's validating it where it's coming from uh, how many sources i mean one of the things i do personally is i i follow a number of news services so i don't just listen to what the bbc say even you know yeah. who one would say that oh i can i i should be able to trust what's coming out of this very verified news service but then yeah. i will look at a number of news services and that is the beauty of social media mm -hmm. actually you know from a pos positive perspective you can follow and see the bigger picture we talk about social media bubbles we talk yeah. about you know how easily you can get wrapped up into just being a little bit myopic in in the way that you source and your beliefs whereas actually social media yeah you might be getting this news in but boy oh boy have you got a lot of resources at your fingertips at the same time to be going out and validating and verifying and researching yourself so yeah you can ask your friends you can go onto your little groups and you can see you know what they're doing but you can also take to the mighty social media channels as search engines and start yeah. to dig around a little bit deeper as well you know and you can trace stuff back to the source too right because that's whenever we're citing stuff in the book i'll never use the original the kind of news article i'll trace it back no. to here who cited this and then okay here's the original study from this exactly. reputable organization who we can trust or sometimes the trails go dead you know yes. sometimes i found some stories when re researching this book where it's just a kind of circle of blog citing each other yes. but there's no real source no. behind that and sometimes no. they're referencing a national statistics but you can't ever yes. find that actual thing and yes. often it's really minor right it's just a yes. kind of something that isn't going to make a huge difference to the world or isn't going to you know make people burn down wi-fi towers I know. Um, but you know you can trace that stuff back and it you can do it relatively quickly when 10 20 years ago it would take you an entire day or a week in the library uh, to figure out where it initially came from 
Absolutely, absolutely. You know, I've been trying to look at um, stats and facts around reinfection rates, you mm-hmm. know, uh, because somebody said, oh, everybody now in China is being reinfected and, you know, this is never going. I was like, are they really? Yeah. Is that really happening? Uh, and, and of course, I can't find really anything about it. Somebody's saying it may happen. Well, there's a big difference between may and is it actually happening? So, anything may happen you know is it actually happening so i think you've got to keep a very curious cynical uh you know not a cynical in a negatively cynical cautious approach yeah cautious a cautious approach a cautious approach and you've got no excuses not to be able to go and validate or at least look at things yourself and keep an open mind but you know you've got tools at your fingertips if you think about every single one of the social media channels they've all got search boxes mm-hmm. and there are fabulous tools out there that enable you to interrogate them if you know what you're doing so you can actually really 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 dig around they're they're like enormous search engines um and if you want to find the right information you will the other Mm -hmm. thing i would say is that if you want to find anything you'll find somebody saying exactly what you want to hear oh yeah exactly whatever you type into google you'll find someone agreeing with you somewhere (laughs) absolutely you know so um you know and uh, and when we were researching books and you know in in our writing in the in the past you can find whatever statistics you want to find You, you, you know, so so you have to be cautious and you have to be have a questioning mind. And, and I, I think that just comes down to to being a, a, a good human. Mm-hmm. And really on social media, there's so much you can find about the people who are writing stuff, too, because often I've done that on Twitter and it's often easy to spot the bots. Right. They're getting more sophisticated. But, you know, someone who's just reposting a whole bunch of content or amplifying information, there's loads of those just to get stuff trending, to amplify content, to amplify certain messages. But often, if you look at the user accounts, you can see what kind of stuff they're posting, why they're posting it potentially, or the fact that they're, you know, acting in a way that no rational human would seem to ever do that. Absolutely. And there are lots of clues there when you look back at some of those things. I mean, uh, some, some of these posts I was looking at recently and, and it's a new account that's been set up. Yeah. Uh, it, you know, it was set up in January 2020. It's got it follows three people. It's got and it's done 400 retweets, but never posted anything original. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. So, you know, there are some clues when you're you're looking at, at well, who, you, you know, I think the framework we give around looking at who said this, what, what's, what's the, what's the intent, you know, what, what, why, why are they saying this? What, what are they getting out of this? You know, that, that test, I think that we we take people through is is a pretty simple one to be considering when you're when you're looking at, at, at any potential fake news. Yeah, or any source of information whatsoever. Yeah.